Okay, so this is the question we're looking at. Now, it's really not hard to solve. It's great, it's really beautifully simple, okay? But I want to show you the, the beats that I go through as I, um, as I actually write out my working, okay? So have a look. What we're asked to do is find this unknown side, that V over there, okay? So the first thing you should do is write down, uh, I'll squeeze it in over here, is write down the pronumeral you're after. That's the very first thing you should do, okay? So I want to find V, so I'm going to put it front and center, okay? That was the first step. Write the pronoun you're after. The second step is, and even though you didn't, I'm not asking you to draw a diagram, maybe you want to draw, draw like a rough one for yourself, at least for the first couple of questions. I want to identify what's the length that corresponds to the one I'm after, okay? So let me state that again. Step one, write down the pronoun you want. Step two, work out which is the corresponding length. It's 12, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, there's a proportion, a ratio between these two, and it should be the same as another proportion, another ratio I can see in the question, okay? So step one was write down the pronoun. Step two was match it up, yes, 1A, was match it up with the corresponding length. Step three is to say, hey, look, there should be another ratio that's going in the same direction. So I can compare these two, okay? So I'm going to write that down too. 17, what do you mean by 20? Okay. What do you mean by step three? Yeah, sure. So what I did was, I said, okay, here's what I want. Here's what corresponds to what I want. So these two guys are kind of like married together, okay? But to find out how they relate to each other, I've got to use this relationship down here. So I've got to say, well, step three is, What's the other piece of information in the question that will help me evaluate that? So, step one and two are here, and here's step three, okay? Now, this is not hard. Let's just go ahead and um, write this out. Just to save you a bit of time, I've already got a number. Here's what I have. Here's what I have. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, don't need this anymore. Okay? Here's the answer that I've come up with. Okay? Now, it's tempting to just sort of write that down and then go home, okay? But there's a fourth step. There's a fourth step. After you write down your pronoun rule, see what length matches to it, and then get something which corresponds to both of those, you've got to look at this thing and apply a sense check. Now, we've talked about sense checks before, okay? Does this number make sense? Does it look reasonable, okay? Now, come back to your diagram. Okay, come back, come back, have a look at this. Before you put pen to paper, when you looked, you knew that V had to be smaller than 12. Do you see why? Do you see why? Because this is the smaller shape to the bigger shape, right? So you're making this comparison. 10.2, it kind of does fit what I'd expect, okay? Now the most common error to get, the most common um, thing to do wrong, is to say this from the top, is to go like this. What have I done wrong? Why have I flipped it the wrong way? What thing have I misunderstood in order to have this upside down? Hmm. I've gone this way for the first ratio, and then I've gone the opposite direction for the second ratio, okay? Now here's the thing though. Um, oops, that's gone, ready? Can someone crunch this number for me? Can someone find out what it is? Point. Uh, okay. Now when you have a look at this, as a number, it's not like this is a ridiculous number, but your common sense should tell you, wait, something has gone wrong, right? Go back and interpret, because like this side's smaller and now this side's bigger, okay? The proportions haven't been preserved. So clearly I've made some simple numerical things. So you just go back and check, okay? Okay, so the one is in red is wrong. Can't be, because this length is too long. This length should be shorter than 12. Yeah. It's not bigger than 12. Question? Fine. Um, just a quick question. Um, if you did it a different way, would it matter? That is so true. Like, you got the same answer. Like, I obviously, mm -hmm. it's right. Why I did it this way? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. But do you have to do it that way? I'll come and have a look at your method. That's probably the it's best really way to do it. It's really easy. It's just 20 divided by 17. And then you get that answer. And then I guess my question for you would be, but why does that explain why the answer is what it is? It, I don't know, it just makes more sense to go that way. Like, I actually understand every single... I don't know. I'll come, in, I'll come and chat to you in a second. Okay? 
So can we review? I said it like five times. Step one. What's step one? Find the perineum or write down. Step two. Find what matches to what corresponds. Step three. You just wrote a ratio, so you need to write down a ratio that will be equivalent to that. You can see it on the diagram. Last step after you've got an answer. Double check. Sense check, right? Have a look. Is it reasonable? Does it match with what you expect? Okay.